What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about and explaining what to do if you are experiencing the black screen of death on your PlayStation 4. What the black screen of death is, is whenever you turn on your PlayStation 4, your TV screen will remain black. For some people, the audio of the PlayStation starting up will sound, whatever your background theme is, the sound that that makes will play. Sometimes there's no audio at all. So the one thing I would recommend is to try all of these quick and easy fixes first before obviously taking it into somebody's repair because for the most part, some of these quick and easy fixes will fix the issue and you don't have to spend any money and you don't have to take it into repairs. It's stuff that you can do yourself. So I definitely recommend trying these first before going that route. Let's get right into this. The first thing you're gonna to want to do if you're experiencing the blank screen of death is to restart your PS4. To do this, with your PS4 turned on, you're gonna to want to press and hold the power button for seven seconds until you hear the second beep, then you're gonna to want to release that button. After that, you're gonna unplug the power cable for about 30 seconds. That will restart the PS4. Then after the 30 seconds, you're gonna to want to plug the PS4 back in and try to turn it on. If that does fix your issue, great. If not, move on to the next step. The next thing you're gonna to want to try is to change the resolution in safe mode. First thing you're gonna to want to do is to turn off your PlayStation 4. Then you're gonna press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps. Once you hear two beeps, it should be launching into safe mode. If you do see it on your screen, then that is a great sign. So once you're in safe mode, if it is displayed on your screen, then you're gonna to want to connect your controller with the cable and you're gonna to want to press the PS button. Next, you're gonna simply select change resolution and you're gonna click okay. Your PS4 will then restart and it will let you select the resolution. Make sure you select whatever your TV is capable of outputting and that way it should all work. Now again, if you did try to go into safe mode to change the resolution and by accessing safe mode, it still did not display on your screen, then I do recommend to check your HDMI cable and to check the outlets on the TV itself. It could be simply a faulty cable. So you can either A, swap out the cable with another cable you have or go and purchase a cheap HDMI cable to try that. If that does work for you, great, it was the HDMI cable. If not, I recommend checking the ports on your PlayStation 4 and the HDMI ports on your TV. If your TV does have other HDMI ports, simply swap out the uh, ports. So instead of HDMI 1, switch it to HDMI 2 and see if your PS4 does work on that output setting. Now, if you did try to access safe mode but still nothing displayed on your screen, there is still two things left to try, the last two things that you can try. First thing is to check your HDMI cable. If you do have a spare one, a backup one, I do recommend just swapping that out just for a second to see if it is a faulty HDMI issue. If that doesn't work, then I recommend inspecting the HDMI ports on the PS4 and your TV to see if there is an issue there. If your TV does have more than one HDMI port, instead of you using HDMI 1, just simply change it to HDMI 2, change your input settings, and see if that does work for your PS4. Or if that does work, then that means that HDMI 1 slot for the TV is a faulty HDMI port. So hopefully some of these fixes did work for you. Hopefully something worked for you. If not, I do apologize. Not all of these quick and easy fixes work for everybody, but for the most part, for most people, they do work. So if it worked for you, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.